I'm here in Brooklyn, New York at the Brownsville SDA Church to fix their sound mix. You pick a shout to Jesus. The band's drummer Gary reached out to me to help fix the quality of their house and stream mix, and I'm glad he did. No amount of Hail Marys can fix this mess as it is. I've got only one sound check and less than 24 hours to turn this church's sound mix from needing a divine miracle to one that everyone can praise in song. Will I be able to fix this church's mix, or will I be cast out like a heathen? I arrive in Brooklyn at 7 p.m. Sound check. I have no idea what I'm walking into, so I'm a bit nervous. Alright. We are heading over to the church now. I am officially parked in Brooklyn. And let's go check this out. <laughs> uh, oh, nice. I love these things. I switched between these and uh, all these cameras right here to for your live broadcast. All right. These guys clearly have the right equipment for a stream, so it's not their gear that's causing the issue. Time to check the board and see what the problem may be. All right. Buses, base IMs, stream left, stream right. Okay, so if these bus, uh, if this bus nine and ten is going to your stream, where is the output of this going into? Like, what are you uh, using as far as an interface? Bus, bus actually, yeah, it is. Um, good question. And what's going to uh, this bus? Is, do you have it set up as like? Okay, you have an independent str uh, stream mix here mm -hmm. for this. You're not mirroring your house mix. You have a separate mix entirely for streams, Actually, right? They're the ones that set it up. Gary and um, Winchell set it up. Okay. Just as I suspected, their streams sounded really low fidelity, which means the mixer was not routed correctly to use the USB interface connection to mirror the front house mix. Just to make sure the signal routing is correct, I head downstairs to the band area to check on the miking and stage box routing before the sound check starts. Alright. Oh, we got a kick drum mic in there. Snare. Overheads. Toms. And what looks like an in ear rig. Alright. Yeah, drums. Couple of wireless mics out there. I just gotta find where the snake is. You have any uh, special outputs here? I see that there's uh, what looks like an in ear monitor for the drummer. Yeah, we all have. We have those. But it's connected here. You guys all have in-ears here yeah. connected? Okay. Uh, from what Gary told me, you guys, uh, mm -hmm. basically the only issue that you have is like getting your stream audio to sound as good as the house audio. Is that right? Well, it's not the only issue, but <laughs> it's a major one. Are these uh, specifically just for your uh, vocals up here? Yeah. Okay. This one too. All the signals were routed right. So after tidying up the band area and putting some proper labeling on the DI boxes, along with some cable management, I ran back upstairs to get the band sound checked. First things first when figuring out how the system sounds, play some music that will be featured the most in that venue. In this case, soul and gospel music will do just fine. With system tuning done, we moved on to drums. All right, we got him behind the kick, let's go. I'm using my trusty direct sound headphones that have a flat frequency response to get the optimal EQ settings, then adjusting where needed for house. Drums are the most important instrument in the band when it comes to setting the pace and the sound of the band. Get these right and your band is golden.
Snare! Tom?
you give me everything? Yeah, it sounds good. Next, we moved on to keyboards and backing tracks. Gary, can you play along with that? Thanks, that sounds great. Raise your mics. Let's sing the mics. Uh, the white white mic is off. I'll tell her tone after this. I'm just balancing levels for them. Uh, whoever has the white microphone, uh, it is off. Little red button underneath. There we go. Now it's on. All right, guys. Whenever you're all set for a full band song, let's uh, let's hear it, guys. Vocals were the toughest elements to get right in this sound check, mostly because the ladies weren't all singing in their mics. Not that they needed mics anyway. Their voices projected so loud, Staten Island could hear them sing.
Once I finally got their levels in a place I liked, I started adding reverb, delays, and effects to add that extra flavor to the overall sound. I used the basic stereo delay and plate reverb effects on the X32. Next, I had to get these channels labeled correctly. If I'm not going to be coming here every service to mix this band, I have got to make sure that I make this scene idiot-proof for whoever runs the board. Finally, I changed the X32's routing so that the USB connection is set to the master fader output. So all their media guy has to do is turn on the mixer and the X32 USB connection will sound exactly the same on the stream as it does in the front of house. going to touch anything else because that sounds great let's save this as a scene i have my mute groups all set up right so what what would happen for we to continue to maintain it right what do we need to to do like is there a video i need to watch um i saved uh like as far as like the mix settings go yeah. i literally just saved it mix 2024 so what you do is you go to scenes over here you click view right and it says up the cues right now. Hit this arrow, go to scenes. And then let's say someone comes in, screws it all up, everything looks bad. Click mix 2024, load. And it loads exactly the way it is right now. So and now. Even if you go, all of these are saved and go into the same thing. Everything. Okay, so Literally everything. 
Yeah, go ahead. Sc screw it up, ruin it. Right. So, like, let's say the drums are all out of whack, uh, and the vocals, they're all muted, and this is up, and this is up. Right? Mm -hmm. Go to scenes. Okay, so... Let's see. Click scenes, the click view. Click the arrow over here to scenes. Mix 2024. Hit load on the bottom. Just push the button in. Uh, this, this one? Yep. Confirm the right one. This one right yep. here? Yep. There. And that's it. So now, when you load this up, everything's going to be the way it is. Your mute groups. One is drums. Two is uh, keyboards and backing tracks. Three is the talkback mic. Four is all the vocals. Five is the pastor's mic. And six is house, house music. So if you're like, oh my God, something's messing up here. Just hit any of these groups. I can make, I can write them down on a little piece of paper and just put them right here for you. But uh, your mute groups are basically all set. Your main, don't go beyond zero. I have your eff uh, effects right here. So this is a drum reverb. This is a vocal reverb, and this is just an instrument reverb. So I'm sending a saxophone and a couple of other things to the instrument reverb. Vocals are just vocals, and the drum reverb is just for drums. So everything, it's a reverb. like echoey, making it sound like more huge, like a little bit of like, uh, like when he hits a, uh, his snare, it's very dry sounding. So instead of it going like ping, it's ping, stuff like that. And then, so that was muted. Then that turns off. But that turned already on. It right now it's on. So mute, right. mute red dead. Just think of it that way. Red right. dead. Got it. So let's say they're going right now, and you're now going to hear on the stream no vocals because everything's right now muted. But click the mute group. Now everything's coming back in again. This is basically just a shortcut instead of like, okay, mute, 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 mute. Instead of that, it's short. So instead of going ba 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 ba, you just go that. That's it. And if you want to hear anything in solo, you plug your headphones in, you hit solo, and then you'll hear just that in the headphones. So if the snare drum is sounding a little too painy. You hit solo and it'll hear and you'll hear it just in the headphones. And it won't go over to PA or your stream. So you you're good to go. So right now these are muted. Correct. What is this? Uh that is nothing, you can ignore that. And these you're not using, so you can literally just ignore these. Right now the stream is just whatever's coming out of this master fader. Right. That's a stereo mix. And the only thing I did was I just increased the gain on that. So I just raised the volume there. Cause you don't need, this console can push out a boatload of audio, a lot of re a lot of volume. So you don't need a lot of volume here, but that's minus 30 dB. We, we need it louder for the stream. So that's all I did was in, o in OBS, I just put it on a compressor limiter. That's it. And now you're gonna have all the volume you want from OBS on your stream. And that is now mirroring whatever is going on the master fader. So whatever your audience hears, they hear. So that you go to uh, click that and you go to filters. So right now the compressor, I have it's not compressing the signal at all because I'm doing it all on the console. That is just output gain. I'm increasing it by 11 dB because the input signal was minus 20. So. With that, if anything does ping through, this limiter will take care of it. And now there's your VU meter. Nice. You have a lot of headroom. Your, your listeners are now going to hear everything. You're good. And then, since... Nice. I'll yeah. Gary Smiles says it all. The stream is sounding crystal clear. All they have to do is load up OBS and click stream. Sound check is done. The next morning, I'm back in Brooklyn. Service day. I really love morning commutes. Especially in big cities with tons of traffic. 
There were some channels I did not get a chance to EQ last night. The pastor's microphone, the organ, and the saxophone. Before the stream starts, I've got to get these channels sounding right. The saxophone player has his own mic he is bringing. The altar mic is stationary and away from the band, but that organ mic is going to be tricky. It's sitting right next to the rest of the band, so getting that sounding right will be a challenge. The saxophone player did not have his mic set up properly. What ended up happening is he had the buffer switch on his mic to lower the signal by 30 dB. Thank you. 
much better. That saxophone is cutting right through. It sounds amazing. Time for one final check over everything. Success. Their mix is sounding full, tight, and clear in both front of house and the stream. I really hope these guys stick to the settings I set for them and they don't use any crappy streaming software. I do worry that all of the video elements and different software they use for their video element might complicate the connection to OBS. I use a two camera setup with audio in OBS and it's easy to use software. It doesn't have to be complicated. I really hope these guys take the ball and run with this. I really enjoyed doing this video, and thank you to Gary, the band, and the staff at the Brownsville SDA Church for their warm hospitality and patience as I learned their system. I'd love to make another video like this, so if you are in the New York, New Jersey, or Pennsylvania area and you need help getting your church, venue, or band's sound mix up to par, send me an email. Address in description. Wow guys, first time doing a church service and getting a church uh, soundboard up to speed and wow these guys are amazing people really great group of musicians and really just better people um had a blast doing it catch you in the next one